Good morning. It is Friday, which is my favorite. And today we're going to do a garage floor removal and replacement. It's going to be a bit of a challenge because I only have so much room under the garage door. I'm going to bring the S130. I'm going to the yard now to, to change the tires from the winter tires to the construction tires. And I only have about two inches or so maybe three inches of room under the door. So it's gonna be a tight squeeze. It's really hot today. Uh, the wildfire smoke that we've been having is gone. What you see now is the humidity in the air. It's super humid. It's gonna be warm in the garage, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna take this trash out. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Good work. Friday. It's really humid. Have a good one. For sure. It is 5:56. Just pulling into the yard. Pretty early. I'm gonna grab my impact and change the tires out on the S130, and they'll have to get that loaded on the trailer. I'm just hoping that I have four good tires. They're all bald, but. Hopefully they're not flat. One, two, three, four. There's five. So I got one spare. That one's got air. Should have four, four that have air. This one, the treads are showing. This one's about to bust right through. I just need them to last for today. That's all I'm asking for. Just one day. I just bumped into my Mustang. I just bumped into my Mustang with the skid loader right there in the bumper. Scratched it. Man, that could have been a lot worse. I just put a scuff in the bumper. This day is not starting out good. It kind of was starting out good, but now it, that kind of reversed things. Man, I'm glad I didn't bust up my car. That's the one. This thing is definitely low. I don't think it's flat. Got jade poop in the yard. That's nice. All right, that's one. I'll keep going all the way around. Oh, hi, Jade. Did you come to help? Did you come to help? All right, that's two. Jade help with that one, so that one was easier. If you don't have a jack, what you can do is you put a concrete block under the rear end, and then you put the bucket, tip it all the way down, and then lower the boom all the way. It'll actually lift up the rear end of a skid loader. You can change the tires, but I have a jack right here, so. Jade, if the jack falls, you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna be squishied. Jade. Get out from under there. You want to be squished? Go plug the compressor in. I got to air these up. Tires are mis mismatched and all that, but whatever. What are you doing, Bugs? Bugs got a socks off over there like he's on the beach. What are you doing? I got something in my foot. Sliver in the foot? You think Bugs going to try to get work workman's comp? sliver in the foot treads reversed on this one not that it makes any difference because they're bald but it's the best fourth tire we have okay all the tires are on the rear ones are <laughs> a little bit bigger than the front ones um they're mismatched but i think they're all holding air so i just wanted to do the job for today i'm gonna bring that last bald tire 
as a spare just in case because you already know if something can go wrong it will go wrong morning Eric. Yes. tino's here where's big ray 6 30. that's just unlike him oh there he is he's on time never mind and francisco morning big ray of sunshine yeah you're gonna take the mac um i'm not gonna have you come to the job quite yet I'm gonna have you get gravel for the land. I put cones where I want you to dump it. Got it. So there's bare areas where we ran out where it's just brown, you know? Yep. I put the cones by the brown areas, just dump it in the brown areas or right next to the brown areas. Got yeah, just keep going until I call you to come by us. I'm gonna go over to the new land this weekend, well, tomorrow, and do some more grading and some work. All right, we're good to go. Yeah, I know. Farrell dropped some stuff off. Large? Large. Going once? Oui. Extra large? No, 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 no. Thank you. I'll take a large. I don't know what we got, it's buddy. I'm just calling them out. Large? Large? Two extra larges. I'm not either. <laughs> either. That's Ryan. But I'll take one. <laughs> That's, That's, too large. Large. That's too big for me. You want one even though I'll you can't wear one, it? Yeah. Give me a dollar then. A dollar? I got a profit uh, off this. Too big. What is it? <laughs> too big. What is it? Hey. <laughs> when when these when the companies give us free stuff, I should sell it online. <laughs> They'd be so mad. <gasps> One more. I don't even know what it is. And then bugs, they gave us, they I'm gave us this new tape. I mean, they the, they seen we've been struggling on the videos with look adhesive. Look at that bug. I know. Oh I, I knew. I'm trying that, man. They said this doesn't leave adhesive on the siding. Right. It's yeah, made for that. I mean, it's a little extra wide. It's not totally necessary, but two. no, it's just one, around. man. I thought it was two. <laughs> we could if you had like a bandsaw, you could. Are you sure? Is it just extra large? It looks it like a, it says extra large, buddy. This is the easy teak from Proline, okay. like their version. They got the little scooper in there for one gallon each. Not an extra large, but man, thank you, Farrell. That's yeah, pretty long. It fits the longer than the red one, and that's a 2X. What's going on here? <laughs> you can wear it if you want today. Okay. Uh, if you want to. 92 degrees. Forgot about this light, too. This is not This is not going to cut it right here. Watch me from the front, because I can't see anything. Put a strap over the bucket too. That thing will fly off. You should try to figure it out. What's unsafe right now? Yeah, I just wonder if I left everybody alone to work without me. Like, how many people would be killed or maimed? It's a scary, scary, scary thought. No, Eric, not yet. Yeah, I know this thing will slide right off on the freeway. Imagine if this came off in front of you when you were going 70 on the freeway. Oh, oh man. It's like, it's like the yeah. Activating. Yeah. Uh, when you push a little if it no, if it if it flipped like this and then made a ramp, if it was upside down, it would make a perfect ramp. Whoa! Hey, Ryan's driving. All of a sudden, a car comes sailing over his head. He's like, "Whoa!" Oh, it lands in the dump truck. Ryan gets to the job, he's like, how did that get there? <laughs> 6.52, just leaving for the job. Obviously, a little bit of a late start having to shuffle around the skid steer and the tires and all that, but it's not that bad. So we got concrete at noon today. So as long as the, the concrete's not a nightmare to remove, we should have plenty of time. I am soaking wet already just from changing the tires and messing around with the skid loader. It's going to be super hot today. Eric heard 95. I heard 92 or 93. So we'll see what it gets up to. All right, we are here and Bugs has got to get off the road. I would say once you get your dog, park on the side street. That's where Ryan's going to park. What's up? We're good? We're good then? No. Pull, pull up. Pull? Okay, that's what I was Pass the job and then... And then what? Well, you're gonna be on hurt. Just pull over like as far as you possibly can. By the rock? By the not that far over. You'll be 20 feet on the lawn, Eric. You're gonna run right over the mailbox. Oh, you want me to just go? 
So yeah, park on the side of the road. We'll park by the customer's house. So if the tire goes off on the grass a little bit, you're not gonna have the neighbor mad at you. I'll help you. This road is just really, really narrow. Put my mirrors in for this one. Really narrow. Really good driver. <laughs> I don't even go on people's grass. No more. I used to back in the day. Uh, is there any cones up there? Put it right in the back corner of the truck. Make sure you don't leave the door open. There are toolboxes open or anything on this job. Look at the deer. Look at the deer with the with the fawns. Oh That's God. cool, man. That. There they go. Man. The fawns are growing big. Yeah. That's cool. Morning. Morning. How are you? Good. We've never met before. No. But you didn't you didn't make me any coffee or anything though? If you want a cup? <laughs> I'm just I got kidding. Some. I'm Ryan. Matt. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. So the plan is we're gonna take this out and then pour it at noon. Okay. Hope. We should be out of here all the time. It's my daughter's birthday, so we're gonna uh, take her and her friends to the water park. Oh that'll be that's a perfect day for that, man. Hey, if any of you guys want that chair, they can take it with them. We're, <laughs> We tried to sell They'll it. want it as oh, long yeah. as it's on the job so they can sit down. <laughs> right. But I don't know if we'll take it. Yeah, I'll ask him. Mean. All right, thank you. Yeah. I think this is going to be very easy. He said he's got a dog in the backyard, so you got to put her in the front or somewhere, or on the side or somewhere. Wherever you want her. Let me see that sledgehammer. I got to give this concrete a little feel, a little feeling <laughs> out. Oh, don't say that, Eric. Ting, ting, ting. Soft. Softy, it's soft. gonna come out easy. You can tell by hitting it once how thick it is. If it's really thick, it'll just like kind of bounce off and make a pinging sound. When it makes a thud like that, you know it's like typical, maybe four or five inches. Are you ordering pizza already, Eric? Man, it's only seven in the morning. When you took the skid steer in, did you tell him what was wrong with it? No, I thought you went in. So you went in and talked. To him. <laughs> no, I didn't. I only talked to him about renting the little one. I'll call them. They're probably wondering what that thing is doing there. They probably got it for sale on the internet now. Go get the breaker. I'm only gonna have about two inches. What happened? It doesn't work. get the dying dingo. It wouldn't put, it wouldn't handle my breaker. Just making some notes before we even start. This corner is all patched up. Looks like the block was broken. It's displaced. Crack in the corner. The joints are cracked, obviously, here and there on the blocks. The back looks, yeah, you can see the back there. You won't really see the back once we pour anyway. You won't see this either. This corner looks pretty decent still. Hey, I want a saw. Saw right here by these corners. Cause it's already busted up. And as soon as it starts vibrating, it's gonna just fall out the corner. Look at the block, it's all busted up already. I'm just gonna come in here and just break it. Break it into little itty bitty pieces and I'll come and scoop what we can and then uh, we'll toss a bunch of pieces in the bucket. Okay, get to work. Grab glasses and eye protection. Here you go, for now. You gotta, you gotta get ear protection too though. Cause your feet will. <laughs> Why should just take my ears? <laughs> we got the foamy things on the truck. Yeah, he's gonna go get them. All right, that's too loud. That's that's, that's too. way too loud, man. Yeah. You gotta have earplugs for that. What is he doing for real? Yeah, he's been trying to get the breaker for like 15 minutes. What is going on? You see Ryan? Trying to put the breaker on. Trying to put the breaker on. What's so hard about putting the breaker on? What is he doing? What's the problem? Sorry, I know this is taking forever. Yeah, I noticed. The claw was too clamped on the thing. So then I had to try to get the hoses on this the clamp, but then they were stuck, so then I had to get it with a pin to get them on. Oh yeah. It was still caught on the strap. Pick it up. Come closer. Hold it. Up, now back up. It's 
leaking hydraulic oil all over the place. It's just pouring out. I gotta see if I got a wrench in my truck. It's always something. It did turn. I don't know if that was actually the problem or not. Yes, Tim. It's leaking terrible. Yeah, I know. I'm a lot. Let me see your vice grips again. It's actually pouring out from the top one. Oh, that thing's definitely loose. No, I want to take the hose off so I can actually get to it better. That one was pretty backed off, so hopefully that was the problem. Hopefully. I have more fluid over there if you need it. Huh? I have a bucket of fluid over there. I didn't lose enough to add yet. Still leaking, but a lot, lot slower than it was. This is gonna take me a while. Grab some plastic and roll it right down the driveway and then grab the plywood off your trailer and just put pieces here and there to kind of hold it. It's, it's, this is still leaking. It's not as bad, but it's still leaking. I don't want to get hydraulic oil on his driveway because if you get hydraulic oil on a driveway, it's really not good. Bad news was we're still leaking pretty good. The good news is I can still use the machine. put this breaker back right away now we're gonna stop leaking finally I'm gonna see if I can grab a rag and wipe some of that excess off hey Eric come here once hey we should have a race for a hundred dollars this machine's out of fuel the battery on the fuel cell is dead so take my truck come over by the trailer we got to use jumper cables from my truck to the pump so I can get this full All right, Eric's coming over with my truck because the battery and the fuel cell is dead and I've forgotten to charge it about 20 times now because I got other stuff on my mind. So we're gonna use jumper cables. I know there's fuel in the tank. It just doesn't have any juice in the battery. Glad that concrete was weak. Oh yeah, me too. That would have been a nightmare. Eric, open that up. Ouch, right on the muffler. Oh man! I'm sorry, Ryan. It wasn't your fault. Yeah, I, I put my hand on it. You ready? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Turn the key on, Francisco, so you can see when it's getting full. Because Don't turn uh, it on. Just... yeah, just turn oh, the yeah, key on. on. So let me know when it's getting close to full. Problem we have now, we're gonna be waiting for the truck. So Ryan's dumping the dirt out of it. I didn't even know it had dirt in there. He just told me now, he's like, the truck's full, you know. All right, we're full. Everything's good. Burn my wrist. It's not too bad, though. I'll survive. Man, I just grabbed a big wad of paper, and I don't know where I put the paper. I'm going to wipe some of this off so we don't have residual dripping. We're done with the auxiliary hydraulics, so let's move our trucks. To the other side of the boulevard you got everything we need off there anyway yeah, yeah, we got it. and then when ryan comes back he can park on the other side of the street so i can spin on the road instead of on the driveway yeah grab all the poor tools the bull flow strike off and that should really be all we need i'm glad it didn't have no reinforcement in it 
that was really easy actually if it wasn't for the leak <clears throat> and they already have gravel under i don't have to dig anything once we get the concrete out we'll sprinkle a little gravel and bam that's it that went way easier than i thought it was he was quicker than i thought i'm gonna tell him where to park though all right now we're ready jay's got a little shade you chilling in the shade huh it's gonna be hotty hotty today hotty hotty it's gonna be a pain in the butt because i can't spin anywhere so i gotta go straight in and then straight out spin on the road only still better than taking it out by hand so sweaty you're soaked tino soaked too hey big ray yes sir where are you right now uh i just got a, i got uh i'm going towards the new land okay i'm gonna text your address come to our job with the gravel because we need a little bit of gravel notice he picks it up Man. he picks it up off the ground each time after he yeah. swings it <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, he's only got grass snakes, but they're venomous. <laughs> Get all the way to the corner, too. Big Ray's here. We're already done. Look at, he's even got a bright yellow shirt for Big Ray of Sunshine. <laughs> not even dirty. I know, not even dirty. What have you been doing? Man. Grab a few scoops out of here and drain it out. Compact it, we'll be ready for concrete. Why don't you go dump Ryan's truck and then by the time you get back, we should be graded out by then. And then you can continue on with your journey. this truck out of the way so cars can get by easier the guys are gonna put the mesh in bugs is done compacting pretty much putting the rods in it's pretty much it we're ready for concrete it's uh 10 30 right now another half an hour we'll get all cleaned up and then we'll go to lunch concrete's at 12. that went really good except for the hydraulic leak um but that really wasn't that big of a deal this could have been way way worse so I'm happy about it. You want to fight? Oh, this is a tight squeeze in here. Tight squeeze. But we got it. Got it. Watch out for the mirrors. We're good. Currently, there's a nine inch step down. So we're going to. We're going to keep it all flat, keep it flat there, keep it flat there, and then I'm going to float it up to hit to hit 8 inches. Well, I'm going to try to hit 8 inches. And that's really all we can do because it's right in the middle. Huh? You're so talented. He completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. What? Just try calling concrete and it, it won't. Now it's ringing. That was really weird. Hey, Andrew, it's Ryan from Victory. I got a 12 o'clock, eight and a half yards, seven bag, low chert, air, microfiber, five inch slump. You want a little, you want a little chloride? How much? I'm going to do seven bag. That's good, dude. Seven and a quarter? Okay. Okay, seven bag with a quarter, I'm sorry, half percent NCA, five inch slump. 
Everybody wants to go home, right. so they don't care if they got a scrub. Oh, yep, thank you. You too. Bye. Concrete ordered. I'm gonna go get some food. You gonna stay in the sun? Wow, it's hot in here. It's hotty, hotty. Hotty, hotty, hotty. hotty, hotty. hotty, hotty. 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 What are you guys talking about? Where are my pickles? Where are your water? I know, but I almost baked hey, my pickles. Oh, that's Daniel's. Like, hey, where's Buck? Daniel's is gonna see that in the video. Oh, never mind. Lice. Lice. Hey. You might as well start looking for a new job. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, boss. You just use a board yeah, of directors sorry, you brush. Can't, you can't just say sorry. You that is that. Daniels, for real. Fire, yeah, I don't, I don't know if you're going to make it. Live. Why is the hood open? I closed it. No. No, you closed it. Nope, hood's you're open. Right. You got to have pickles on a hot day. So you don't get dehydrated. Right. We should get AC in the power buggy with a little cab. <laughs> no, for, for, for Ray, no. Can you imagine that? The air would be blowing his beard into a split that. V. Look at that. I could put it in slow motion on the video. <laughs> I, I'll have the uh, cash, chicken cashew salad, two honey mustards, <laughs> and then a chili supreme. You guys all have your own money? Yeah. Yeah. Brian? Okay. He should have his own money. He's been doing side jobs. Is that a camera there, bud? It is, yes, sir. Uh -oh. I'm a secret culver shopper. Management uh -oh. has me come in, make sure you guys are doing a good job. <laughs> culver's is so good, man. I wonder how many states culver's is in. Is it this probably maybe just the Midwest? Mm -hmm. In the North. Is, is it? Is it? No, I saw. No, where did I go? I went to a culver's. Look at Carlito. He's doing his side job, and he's dumping all my stuff, all his stuff on my land. Oh. Without asking, I find some dude dumping yesterday in my dumpster last night. Oh, you did? Yeah, I pulled in late. Uh -huh. This dude backed up to my dumpster, putting trash in my dumpster. Guy had a white pickup truck. The bed was all rusty. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was gonna get. And I caught him. And I caught him. I did. I gave him the belt. I'm giving you money. You gotta give me money, man. You gotta ask too. It's disrespectful. And then I heard. I was like, oh, it's Eric. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I wasn't doing nothing wrong. That just means no if you don't get a text back from me. No, no, that just means yes. No, that no. Just means you don't get a text he's back. He's so busy. What if Conker's there? Imagine bugs without all of us. <gasps> Seven bags. He ordered it. <laughs> he ordered it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Before Conker does yeah. get there without us. Yeah, the baseball team. Got the victory. Francisco actually looks like a catcher yeah. with those glasses on. Hey. Just make sure it hits the shovel. Hey, you got to give me the signs like pow, pow, pow. pow yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yes. This is about the pitcher's mound, right? No, just a little bit back. Right there. Okay. Hey, he's giving me the fa he's giving me the fastball. Are you crazy? Well, you I'm going to throw the heat, baby. Hey, hey, hey. You got to look. Hey. You gotta look like the Ryan, put the radar gun on. Okay. Tell me how fast this is. You got it? All right. Here we go. Hit two. That, that was bad. No, that wasn't bad. I I had to warm up. How fast was it? Uh, it was uh, 34. 34? It's right through there. To your left, just a little, a little farther in. It's right there. Right there. Let me try again. You ready? Give me the fastball again. There you go. Fastball. Make it count it. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, that, was good. that was bad. That was too low. I, I'm warming up, man. I gotta tell him. He's, he's, he's so blind. It went right here. Right here. I know, super easy. Imagine playing hide and seek with with Francisco. He would never find you. Yeah. Ah, I can't throw anymore. That was 90. No, it's 57. Oh, the problem is, no, for real, for real, I pitched in Little League and when I was young and I threw as hard as I could, like growing up, every pitch I threw as hard as I could and I messed up my shoulder. Now I can't throw like footballs and stuff, like just, just doing that, man, I got a lot of pain in my shoulder. I think your dad told us that you used to play baseball. Oh, that was. Oh. Imagine if, <laughs> imagine if that would ricochet right into Bug's head. <laughs> He would have picked up that shovel and went like, pow, to Eric. He would have knocked all the facial hair off of 
Off of Eric? It's only six strands. Oh, all of them. That was good. Yeah, but it was only 14 miles an hour. Well, of course, I don't want to shoot it really hard. I almost hit bugs on the ricochet, though. Yeah, you almost We were saying he would have hit you with that shovel so hard. Yeah, he yeah. would have knocked you out. Ah, oh, his throat. Wow. That went into the neighbor's yard. MOB. <laughs> Never. <laughs> you get lost. Concrete's here. <laughs> You gained a little weight, so we're good. Even if it's super hard, Eric. If you stand on the bow flow, we're good. Good. I'm dizzy, Eric. Cocker just holds me right I'm here. I'm dizzy, Eric. Catch me. No, no. Don't <laughs> fall right there. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> We're dead. No, you are. He will die first. <laughs> yeah, he will no, die he first. Will die, not, not at right. I would have a nice cushion. That's true. We're gonna need about a wheelbarrow, Ryan. If uh -oh. that. Uh oh, we got it stuck. Mm, don't rip the. Oh yo yo. Oh, you're all sweaty. Everybody's sweaty. I'm not sweaty. No, he's not. Look at me. I'm, cool. well, I'm fresh. This is really nice having all the plastic on the driveway. Oh yeah, look, really, look, really look nice. At all these mess. Yeah, look at the mess we oh, made. Yeah. Right. We should start doing that. Get up. I might need some weight on the bull float. I'm pretty sure I am gonna need some weight. That's good though. Concrete's gonna be creamy and nice to finish. Oh, you know what, Eric? We do need a few shovels. We gotta fill them corners in a little bit. I did mine. I did mine. You did? Oh, I did mine too. The corner, the top? This right corner. Here? Oh yeah. It's I did oh, you did already? Oh, okay, never mind then. Never mind. I thought for sure that Eric would forget at least. He just went up one notch in the truss level. Good. One thing that I like to do is, uh, if you got a bull float in the opposite direction than you should when you strike off, I try to go on a little diagonal like this and it helps fill the little holes better than just going straight the way that you struck off the bull flow can ride those little ridges if you go on a little bit of a diagonal like this i'll go this way in the garage floor and then i'll cross it up and i'll go this way and you can still get the floor pretty flat even though you can't both load it in the proper direction yeah big ray yeah I, um i did all five of them do you want me to keep going keep going oh yes sir keep, keep going. going 7 a.m okay. Yeah. Let me put the rest. There's no more cones. <laughs> no, the cones didn't really mean how many loads. The cones weren't representing how many loads. They were just no. they were just letting you know the areas where to dump. Just keep getting loads till okay. probably like three o'clock, and then you can call it a day. Eight o'clock. Okay, <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> Tell them until they close. He the, would. The, the, the yard. Oh, he yeah. would. You know, he would. He wouldn't even say anything. He say, "Okay, boss." Eric, you gotta be professional. I am professional. I try my hardest to be professional. You should you should look up in the dictionary the definition of professional <laughs> though. Because maybe you think professional is not really professional. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's rough back there, dude. You guys should have you guys should have floated that by hand. You yeah, be scrubbing that back there. <gasps> close it, close the garage door. Let's check the seal. Gentle, gentle. That's a nice door. How could it have concrete? It's been up the whole time, Eric. That's not concrete. That's not from us. It's been up since we got here this morning. That's your cutter ass. I like this handle. Oh. That's fine. Gentle. It's plastic. What are you going to do to it? Touches. It touches. That's good. Yeah, it touches. Maybe it's maybe it's just a. Just a tap. Hang on. Let's just do this. No, but we'll just knock it down a little in the middle. 
and we'll leave the ends. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Because we're a little high over we're the concrete here. Right here. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's going to be perfect now, Eric. Yeah, pretty good. Hopefully. We're going to start cleaning up this, this big mess. I'm so glad we put plastic and plywood. Driveway's going to be nice and clean. I'd rather do that than try to clean all this concrete splatter and stuff off. We should just leave now. Yeah. It looks fairly smooth, I mean. Hey, if he's taking too long, you give it to him. It's my son, it's okay. If he's taking too long, just let me know. Going up to the job, I got the guys some Gatorades. Hi, you want a Gatorade? Yeah. Hotty hotty. All right, let's go take a look at what's going on. I went and got those guys Gatorades and then I had some business to take care of that I can't talk about on camera. So I've been gone for a little while. We had a basketball tournament. You did? Oh yeah. Who won? A tie? Huh. Tino. You should grab the blower or there's some dust and stuff on the driveway. Man, that was nice. It kept the driveway pretty clean though. Yeah. You cramping up, Eric? And look at Bugs, is fresh. Eric, you want a Gatorade? Yeah. Here, just take a sip or whatever and throw it back. And don't drop it. Huh? You ready? You get any water? Yeah, I got water. You want one? Yes, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> I got water. Nope. I got bugs. The expensive water. Hey. Fiji. Thank you. Fiji water. That stuff's like that's like fourteen ninety nine. It's pretty wet, eh? I'll stop for that though. Yeah. You see what I did to Eric? Yeah. That's bad, bad. Kobe. Oh yeah? oh yeah. Wow. He did a step back. Yeah, I let him do. I let him show off. Was it a three? Yeah. No, two. It was a one. Man. Brian, grab a wet rag. We gotta wipe that the jam off, and then there's some splatter on the siding too. Just from the saw. Guys are just finishing up the uh, garage floor. Oh, feel that breeze? Oh, that is nice, baby. Yeah, that plastic saved our lives. We'd be washing this driveway for three hours. I know you guys didn't like putting the plastic on, but it did work good. That's not a finished drum. <laughs> Who brought that to you? Francisco to grab this. Oh, I you said oh man. Bucket. I thought you said for the water bucket broom. I didn't even finish Imagine that. if Bugs, bro <laughs> Bugs brooms a concrete with that. It'd be a little. It'd be, <laughs> it'd be so rough. All right, the floor is all done. We broomed the first 12 inches. We just cut the joints by hand because it is Friday and I'm not coming back here to saw tomorrow. So this job is complete. I'm going to bring the garage door down just a little bit, see if it'll stay. Hey, grab some tape. Put a little tape around the rail so it don't go all the way. Bugs has tape right there. I just don't want it to hit. Just put a little tape around the rail, like right about there. So the garage door won't go down all the way. It's a big one. Why is it so wide though? <laughs> it's huge. Does that stuff stick pretty good? Yeah, bro. I'll put another piece. Alright, yeah, put one more. Cause you know as soon as we leave it'll go <laughs> boop and leave a mark. There we go. We'll leave that up a little bit. So you notice there's there's a little lip there. We put the garage floor in absolutely level. It's perfect. Garage door seals perfect. The garage floor is perfectly level. But the driveway, you know, it's cracked in the control joint and the two ends of the driveway settle down like this. So they got a little bit of a lip going on on each side. Um, that's not my problem. Driveway is not my problem. I put the garage floor in proper. So it is what it is. They can get this mud jacked if they want to have it brought back up to perfect. It's not really that big of a deal, but it is what it is. We're all done. We're cleaned up. Everything's pretty clean. I get those footprints right there. But the plastic saved the whole driveway. There's nothing on the driveway at all. Just one little skid mark there from the Bobcat. I told the guy about skid marks. He might have a skid mark or two, so he was expecting that. That'll wear away. That's it. Here, let me get a shot. I'll drain it. Song. Wait, we, were, we already had a, a, a contest. You guys can't beat me. Come on, really? Oh, I'll post you up like pow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too tall. Oh, 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 we're doing make it, take it? Oh, this is going to be easy. Come on, Tina, one more. We're going to make three against one. Me and Eric. Right here? Yeah. Here. Oh. 
<laughs> nice shot! Yeah! That was a good one. Send it! Yeah! Send it! Go ahead, pick for him, see what happens. Oh! That's a double trip. No, it wasn't. That's a triple trip. No, it wasn't. Yeah, no, it wasn't. yeah, it was, Frank. Oh, dribble. Right, that was so that. against the rules. <laughs> no, it wasn't. He paused? Yeah, he paused three times. Yeah, he was. <laughs> oh, it's on hey, the video. Hey, I want to see that review. <laughs> oh! That's a double trip. No, it wasn't. Oh! oh. oh. Is Tino, take him, take him. Is Tino too tired? Yes, it is. What'd you think of that? Nice, dude. Hey, we, we got it earlier. That was nice. I'm so tired, dude. I'm like fainting. <laughs> yeah, there. you are. NBA street ball, baby. I'm dying. 2023. Get in the stores now. That was good. Get in the game. Get in the game, baby. <laughs> All right, we're done with this one. We're going to go back to the yard. I'm going to give the guys the payroll checks. And that's it for this week. I'll see you guys. I'm going to work on the land tomorrow, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Adios.